Hi everyone, I'm Stormy the Folk, and today I thought I'd talk about fursuit handlers. They're kind of like the unsung heroes at furry conventions, much, much like furry con volunteers. Without them, we'd be blindlessly running into each other, or into walls, or tripping on things, and potentially destroy our fursuits in the process. That would be a bad time. But yeah, today I'm going to talk about fursuit handlers, why they're so important, where to find a handler, and what to do if you yourself become a fursuit handler. First of all, if you've never been fursuiting before and you plan on getting a suit one of these days, you'd do well to have a friend or relative help you walk around first before putting it on, especially if it's a full suit. You really don't want to trip and fall. Things like balance and peripheral vision are just out the window. After a while, you might start to feel a little more comfortable suiting alone in your own place, but what about if you're at a furry convention? Don't chance it. Navigating a busy furry convention floor with a long tail, puffy paws, ginormous peat, and limited fursuit vision, all while there are numerous other fursuiters walking around, is guaranteed to cause you trouble at some point or another. This is where a handler comes in. Handlers are there to help you. If you're fursuiting at a con, then you need a handler. It's as simple as that. <laughs> now, I've talked about this before in a previous video, but this time I want to get a little more in depth. So, I guess we'll start first with how and where to get a handler. A fursuit handler is a person who assists the fursuiter walk around, navigate through crowds, obstacles, and ensures the fursuiter's safety. They usually carry water, snacks, and things like your phone or other personal belongings as well. If you don't verbally speak in suit, your handler can help others understand what you're trying to say. Fursuit handlers can help one or more, more, more suitors all at once, say like for a fursuit parade or a fursuit game. A fursuit handler can also refer to a spotter or a lackey. There are also fursuit wranglers, wranglers which direct or assist several suitors simultaneously for specific events like a parade or a fursuit game. So many tongue twisters in today's video. <sighs> anyway, since most furries don't have a fursuit, this is a prime opportunity to find a handler. Handlers are essential to have at any furry convention. If you have any friends that are in the fandom, ask them if they want to go to a con with you. If you don't, just ask around on social media, pages through Facebook or Twitter, or you can try Telegram fur con groups as well. And you can also try conroomies.com. Try to engage in some form of conversation with your potential roommate or handler as soon as possible. The longer you wait, the harder it's going to be to find someone as the day of the convention gets closer and closer. And fursuit handlers don't necessarily have to be your roommate. You can be hanging out with someone who's rooming with someone else separately. Now once you find someone, you could either room with them or they could room with you. Now in my personal opinion, I either pick someone I already know or have a friend of a friend be your handler so there's already some form of trust as opposed to just, you know, picking a stranger. Really try to do this first if it's an option. I might cover this topic in another video. Basically, you need to find someone you can trust to be your handler. This is important because you don't want a handler that just randomly deserts you, leaves you hanging, um, is careless, or if they're just a jerk. Once you find a handler, if you're good with money, you could offer them a free space in your hotel room in exchange for being your handler or a discounted room rate or offer to buy them dinner or their registration badge or just give them a little spending money or if they also happen to have a fursuit, maybe consider trading places with them every now and then. Bottom line is, spend some time negotiating all of this before the con. And don't be a jerk to your handler. Treat them with respect if they treat you with respect. Don't demand them to accommodate for you. Be polite. If you piss them off enough, there's a chance they might abandon you, and if that happens, you're more vulnerable to accidents, you'll be stumbling your way back to the hotel room, maybe forget to rehydrate yourself, or just flat out get lost, especially if you're new to suiting. That applies to me especially because I naturally have a bad sense of direction. I get lost very easily. In a way, your handler is like your bodyguard, or can act like a bodyguard. 
Bonus points if you have a handler who is trained in self-defense. Which brings me to my next point. Don't try to fight someone while in pursuit. Just don't. The consequences aren't worth it. Let your handler and con ops handle it. Generally, a good fursuit handler is responsible, trustworthy, will help you navigate the con floor spaces, and make sure you don't trip and fall, carry bottles of water, maybe a few snacks, your phone, your wallet, and they'll give you water so you don't dehydrate, assist you in emergencies, and escort you to the fursuit lounge at regular intervals. I'd say like every hour or so, depending on how high your tolerance is. And of course, maybe even hold a few snacks to get you by until you get back to your hotel room. While there may be water stations nearby, they might be empty, or you may run into a critical situation where you need some water like right away. When you're in fursuit, going around and giving hugs, going to photo shoot and dances, you might lose track of time after a while and forget to replenish yourself. This stuff happens a lot more often than you think, especially to new suitors. Fursuiting not only impairs your vision, hearing, and sense of touch, but can also affect your cognitive abilities if you're fatigued enough. Handlers can also assist you in purchasing items from the artist alley or the dealer's den. Because, um, let's face it, <laughs> It's pretty difficult to pull out things like your wallet if you're trying to buy something at the dealer's den and you're in fursuit and you have puppy paws. I can barely turn a doorknob with these things, let alone use a phone, so yeah. And probably the coolest perk of having a fursuit handler, in my opinion, are fursuit photos. Like, unless you have a selfie stick and you're somehow able to use your phone in fursuit, there is no easy way to get a selfie. Ask your handler if they'd be willing to take some pictures of you, or even a few videos. They could be great photographers. If you happen to upload any pictures they took of you, please credit them and thank them for doing so. <coughs> and if your handler bends backwards to help you out, you better help them out too. They scratch your back, you scratch theirs. Take them out to dinner or something. Don't be selfish. They're lugging around a heavy bag of supplies so you can enjoy the con carefree. If they offer to do you favors, then you should return the favors to them, especially if you're otherwise not compensating them for anything. This should be common courtesy. You don't want to beware for being an obnoxious, selfish fursuiter, do you? So, instead of needing a fursuit handler, what if you yourself have to be the fursuit handler? Well, first off, by agreeing to be a fursuit handler, you're basically pledging to help your fursuiting friend walk around as well as ensuring their safety. You're there to make sure their tummies are full, they drink enough water, they get enough breaks, and to make sure some idiot doesn't sneak up and tackle hug them from behind. Consider getting a backpack or a carrying bag and stock it with some bottles of water, maybe a little bit of Gatorade to keep their electrolytes up, and maybe some protein bars as in between snacks. Don't treat them as full meal. Don't treat them as full meal replacements. Your suitor will need a full meal at some point during the day. Talk with your suitor so that the both both I uh, tripping on my words so much today. Oh my god. Your suitor will need a full meal at some point during the day. Talk with your suitor so that the both of you can establish a schedule on when to eat, when to take breaks, and if you're both suitors, when to swap places. You can't be a handler if you're suiting, obviously. <laughs> Know your physical limits as well as your suitor's limits. Don't stay in the con space all day. Take breaks in the hotel room whenever possible. Alert the suitor of any emergencies that may take place during the con so you can get them to safety as soon as possible. Keep a very close eye on your suitor. Take note of their movements. If they're looking down like this, or if they're slumping over, or they're walking really slowly and appear to be wobbling, or <laughs> gasping for breath, <laughs> Get them to the fursuit lounge immediately. If neither the lounge room nor your hotel room are close by, do this. Break the magic. <laughs> Remove the fursuit head. Cool them off. Get them some water. I understand I might get some negative comments about this, but I'd rather someone break the magic than end up in a fursuit that's had to been cut open because an EMT had to save your life. If you're new to suiting and you don't know your limits, things like this can happen. Suitors, let your handlers know. Handlers, let your suitors know. Your suitor might have a medical condition. This stuff unfortunately happens at furry conventions all the time. You need to take it seriously. Fursuiting can carry an immense physical burden on your body, and this is one of the reasons fursuiters and handlers usually get priority on con elevators. 
But yeah, handlers are pretty important in the fursuiting world. We need them. If you're a handler and you have a story you'd like to share, let me know in the comments. And if you're a suitor who had an odd experience with a handler, let me know as well. But yeah, if you found this video helpful or you enjoyed it to some degree, consider leaving a comment, maybe leave a like, a subscribe, ring the little bell thing, mabob, <coughs> and of course share it with all the other suitors and handlers out there. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!